So Owen Patterson, you're the former uh, DEFRA secretary uh, and you campaigned for Brexit. Can you just tell us a little bit about what you're planning to do? Yes, I was DEFRA secretary, but on this particular issue, important, I was the shadow uh, fishing minister a long time ago, way back in 2005, and I did a green paper on which we actually fought uh, that, that election. And I had a fascinating time coming from landlocked Shropshire. I went all around the British Isles, some of the most remote places like Wolsey right in the north. Um, I also went to Norway, Faroes, Iceland, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, uh, east coast of the States and the Falklands. And I wrote a paper on how you'd write a sane fisheries policy. Because the common fisheries policy in an area of intense competition is almost certainly the winner of the most disastrous area of European government. It is a biological, environmental, economic and social disaster. Uh, we used to be net exporters of fish. This was a major industry generating wealth in some of our most remote coastal communities. Uh, now we import fish. Uh, We've lost control of our own waters, so although we have something like 50% of uh, the EU's total waters, uh, they fish 75% of that. Uh, this has caused real damage to our coastal communities. It's also caused real damage to our marine environment because of the stupidity of the way in which our mixed fishery is managed. And the problem we have, we have lots of different fish swimming around it is impossible to deliver what the European system wants, which is to get to fulfil an exact quota of each species of fish. You cannot fish that accurately. I did see selective gear over 10 years ago in, in uh, Manomet in the States, where you can, you can improve, you can attempt to divide some fish up, but you will always have fish which are outside the quota and at the moment they have to be discarded. So the result is absolutely disgusting. We throw back about 40% of the fish that's caught. That's probably a million tons a year. Nobody really knows. That fish goes dead to the bottom of the sea of no value at all. It actually, it's actually counts as pollution. And the, the next major result of that is we don't know what's going on. So our scientists are effectively running blind because the data they work on is guaranteed to be completely inaccurate and absolutely guaranteed to be out of date. So it'll be a huge gain to us coastal communities when we take back full control. Uh, we can run our own regime. There's no, actually no point in, as I said, 2005, taking back control and running a, a repeat of the old CFP. We need to devise a new regime. I would suggest around effort control where fishermen don't have quotas but are allocated time at sea you should then make it mandatory to land absolutely everything. That means every single fishing boat effectively becomes a research vessel in its own right, bringing back accurate data on a daily basis, on an hourly basis. And you can then run a modern fisheries policy around that. So I'm going out uh, early hours of the coming morning and we'll be seeing how the current regime does not work. I'll be seeing fishermen manfully trying to catch one particular species, but inevitably, as a bycatch, catching other species, which will be have to be discarded. Um, Theresa May's uh, got her checkers plan for what she wants to do with Brexit. Can you see any problems uh, for fishing uh, if we adopt her plan? Well, there are massive problems. First of all, we don't get proper control back, uh, and we're still very much with the constraints of the European system. We're still working with the quota system, but above all, we're trying to work within the constraints of the discard ban. The discount ban is a symptom of the problem of quotas. If you have quotas, you will have discards. And of course, my fishing paper always, we wanted to get rid of quotas. And if the discard ban comes in and it's properly enforced, a fisherman will have to tie up because they're not allowed to chuck fish away. They won't want to break the law. The minute they get to the top of any quota of the smallest species they've got a quota for, they have to stop. That will be disastrous. So do you think we should leave the common fisheries policy in uh, March? Absolutely, emphatically. Yeah, it would be much the best, one of the biggest advantage for me of not having a deal, the famous no deal. We could go to World Trade Organization terms. Uh, we could immediately take back control of our own waters and we could immediately begin to run our own waters in a more sane manner. I'm, I'm absolutely clear uh, that there is, it is absolutely pointless uh, taking back control and repeating the CFP. It also doesn't serve any purpose to continue a transition, which is what we're looking at at the moment, 
where effectively run on within the CFP. We will continue to do damage to our marine environment. We will not be able to rebuild our fish stocks. We will not rebuild employment and wealth in our rural communities, our coastal communities. Particularly egregious for fishing because we did have a successful industry. We did have a lot of employment in remote rural areas. Uh, and we had a thriving marine environment and we actually exported fish. That has all been reversed. It's not going to happen immediately, but we take back control and we begin to run our fisheries policy in a sane manner, in tune with nature. We can rebuild those fish stocks, we can rebuild the employment and we can bring prosperity back to some very remote rural communities.